and we're back, everybody. Um, Esbjerd is trying to uh, lick the wounds um, that are on your body. He's not even, like, that's sanitary. Yeah, his he's trying to nurse you back to health a little bit, but you are definitely in very bad shape if you don't get medical attention. Come on, create a time paradox. <laughs> Lead out. Yeah, I imagine she's she's just like slumped on a tree or on I'm him. I'm curious what would out. happen about that. And she, if she sees them approach, she'll attempt to pull back her bow, but you can see she's got no strength yeah, There goes my it. strap down okay. my shoulder. Mal- Malcolm will say, Gerard, do you, do you see her anywhere? And I'll say, Gerard, that at some point you will see a bear um, uh, attending to the wounds of this girl. Yeah, that, Both of them look very miss. bad. The girl looks yeah. worse than the bear, though. He'll point over to them and start going in that direction. <laughs> okay. You, as you approach, like Sam said, you see that the that the girl tries to pull her bowstring back, but she's too weak to do so. She seems she's she seems to be threatened by your presence. Do you blame her really? Giant will say, "Don't worry, we're not the bandits who just attacked you." <laughs> he cursed. <laughs> That that that's not what a bandit would say. <laughs> I I am not the bandit. Shoot her. <laughs> I mean, she's she's like coughing blood. She, she's just she just looks very scared still. And then I imagine she probably at the like at seeing that you guys clearly aren't a threat. She sort of just passes out. <laughs> just how bloody damage or hurt is she? Okay. Very. Um. So Gerard will go over and try to help. Uh, I don't know if this matters, but I actually took a healing focus. No, healing is my thing. If you you presume I'm level two now. Yes, go ahead. (laughs) Uh, Roll a heal check, please. Crit failed. (laughs) Uh, Should I subtract three again? That's that's kind of it. Um, If if you crit fail heal, you actually hurt yourself. You actually hurt your patient. Uh, so it's okay, now that what I mean, do you hurt your patients or do you yeah. hurt yourself? No, you hurt your patient. Yeah, just keep it. Just keep your three cunning and two focus. That's fine. All right, it's on a team. Nice. Okay. I rise from That's with a stun. So, Kenna, you're going to wake up. You're going to wake up probably within the next 24 hours. And um, we'll say that uh, you are inside the wagon right now. They kind of made a makeshift bed, sort of, using some furs and a table. A Mm. makeshift bed for you. Um, Fortunately, Malcolm had a few healing potions on hand, and that was what helped uh, Gerard to nurse you back to health. So you'll wake up You're sold to adventure slavers. Oh wait, that's Andrea's uh, plot. (laughs) The, a young man, the same young man that was approaching you before, and he might have a uh, cloth or something, you know, dabbing your forehead a little bit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so Kenna's going to start to come out of it. She's going to be really groggy. Her first instinct is going to retract and get away, but she's going to feel probably pretty sore still um, trying to get up. Uh, and she's like, Don't worry. You're all right. Uh, I assume, like, the bear is walking beside the car. Yes, the bear is walking beside the car. Yes, the the car. Beside the car. <laughs> that would have been adorable. You're, People that can draw fake this art right. happen. You're all right. You're safe now. We we have your bear. He's right outside the car. What? Where? You, What's going on? You were attacked with some... You were attacked by, by a bear. We killed him. <laughs> killed and skinned it. <laughs> I remember greatly. <laughs> you were you were wounded. Uh, myself, my dad, we patched you up. Um, we're trying to get out of the area, uh, but you're all right now. You you helped me. Yeah, I know, right? Why? Well, what do you want? Well, we we don't need anything from you. I mean, we saw you being attacked. Uh, we saw the bandits and we said, well, we have to do something. I, 
And that's Bjorn's fine. He's he's okay. He's you didn't you didn't do anything to him. Oh, you don't want to know what they did to him. We didn't. I mean, he was hit by some arrows too, so he was hurt, but he is he's a bear doing all right. Pretty much, they are nature's <laughs> he's right outside. tanks. I mean, I could probably help you out. I just I'd like that to get on my feet again. All right, uh, Jared will try and help Kenna up. And actually, first he'll go. I'll say, I'll be back in a second, and he'll go and tell Malcolm to stop the cart. Yeah, maybe not standing in a moving okay. vehicle if you're on shaky mm, legs. No. The, Malcolm stops uh, stops the cart, and then uh, as soon as Kenna arrives, first Esbjorn will run up to her, and you can see that Esbjorn has been bandaged Aww. as well a bit. That must have been fun. So How do you bandage a bear, bear? Very carefully. <laughs> Is she all right? And coffee. <laughs> oh, she's up and about. Uh, Barely. I hear that's thanks to you and your... And now the strap is escaping down the other road. <laughs> yes. And now uh, we adjust. <laughs> this is... My apologies. Uh, this is my son, Gerard, and I am Malcolm, his father. <laughs> I am... Clarify, Paul. He is my son, and I am his father. <laughs> Well, you don't know. <laughs> but you could call him Trout, if that's easier. Trout? Uh, this is the trout? season where people have changed genders, so... It's his favorite fish. <laughs> oh. Well, is that so? Well, we, uh... We, if in that case, I might actually have have some trout on ice in the back. Maybe that would help. Uh, how would you bit. have ice? The, <laughs> the bear spurts up a little bit. <laughs> Just roll with it. Let me go fetch some. Uh... This is one of those things I can hand wave. Don't, okay. don't move around too much. Well, you haven't. We're very Again, there is magic in Theta, a frost rune. Fortunately, or my a son, chest with frost rune built into it would be quite a easy to do. thing or two about first aid. Mm-hmm. And for, uh, a good thing or two about first aid. I'm grateful for it. It's truly... Uh, you're sure you, you just did this to hell? I haven't met many kind people <clears throat> My dear, we're in the middle of a blight. Everyone could use all the help we, they can get, I think. I think of it as paying it forward. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Truly. Thank you. Maybe the next time you... Maybe uh, the next time you see someone need, you too might pay it forward as well. I will. I promise. <laughs> That sounds... How, how, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Uh, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm very sore, but alive. Understandable. Uh, like a flock of wild horses <laughs> trampled me. <laughs> you're very welcome. Hopefully, in a couple of days, you'll... It is new, I don't know, a few days. <laughs> that would be great. Where, where are we going at the moment? Uh, good question. Where was this happening? <laughs> like, Frostbacks? Yeah, the Frostbacks. I think they were just... Right now, I think they're... they're you, you haven't trailed that far off. Okay. Um, I think they were traveling westward towards Orle. Um, you probably don't want to veer too far away from the Frostback Mountains, though. Yeah. Um, but, so, um, you believe that, you know, you can easily get back to where you were within, you know, a couple of days of traveling with Esbjorn. So they just wanted to make sure they were away from the bandits. Great. Yeah, understandable. I mean, well, we were on our way. Kind of traveling around with a lane. bear must be interesting. I mean, so we are, uh, yeah. We were I mean, I know it's Theoda, so stores. just about everything so will, uh, anything sort of will come we with anything, but it's still a bear. We ran across you. Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> uh, not Orly. <laughs> oh, come on. You'd have fun. But uh, They'd put a mask on you your mind, bear I, and everything. I might stay with you just happy. for a bit. Until, exactly. You know, we both are more able to be on our feet. Um, I don't I don't have much in terms of, you know, thank yous. I have pelts that I have. If you want to trade those two, they're fine for us. And she'll pull out a few that she has in her bag. 
the furs that she has are actually very fine quality. You believe you probably could uh, get a pretty penny for these in the bazaar, in the bazaars, in the markets. Fine, very fine of Aryan work. And now you have made a friend for life. <laughs> you have trade goods. Um, uh, so Jar will say, "Oh, these are these are very nice. Thank you very much." Um, are you sure you're willing to part with a couple of them? Of course, take them. You you earned it more than earned it. True. Well, thank you very much. I'm and sure the expenditure of this trip welcome, has you're welcome to stay with us for lowered the profit margin here think quite significantly. Hang out yeah. around here for a while, but or for too long. But you can stay with us for as long as we're not too far off of your path. I uh, you 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 continue with what you need to do. We can make our way back on our own when it's time. If it's not too much trouble, of course. No, it, I mean, if we should be hit by some bandits again later on, <laughs> we have a barrier again. Oh, just become their muscle. Hey, safety in numbers, it seems. <laughs> right. Well, safety in numbers and bear. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Em. <laughs> <laughs> Safety Drugs in number is, and bear. That that need the to be written to on a plaque uh, somewhere. That should have been the title for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> it was not. Growl, Safety you know, in numbers and bear. Satisfied growl manner, kind of. So. Oh, he likes you. <laughs> How? Actually, why why do you have a bear? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <What>? thank you. <laughs> Uh, she kind of chuckles and oh, kind of winces in pain. Um, <clears throat> he's he's my whole beast for my hold. Um, very sacred animal. Uh, he's more a pet. <laughs> he's he's more like a companion, a friend, and he's the reason I'm alive, and he's the world to me. <laughs> I see. I. Um, <laughs> How well, how broadly is it known, like, which Gerard had on that, like, the Avar have taken the flight very badly? Um, what was the question? I'm sorry. Would Gerard have known that the Avar were hit really badly by the flight? Roll a knowledge history minus three. Nine. You, you have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Well, after some of his where, earlier where roles, him getting a nine is like, thank you. <laughs> thank uh, you, Rolfing. She's going point at the frostbacks. Uh, one of the very top mountains just there. That was my hold before uh, before the blight. Um, how, how are your people doing the blight? I mean, it's hitting everyone, but how are yours doing? Um... We were doing okay, but wave after wave of those monsters beat us down like a wave against rock. We we did our best, but good choice on music here. Mm -hmm. We were overcome. Now, when you play this, you don't have I the don't, music going. It's something that's done. I don't know if anybody else needs mm -hmm. that life. I think I'm alone, and everything is gone. And. I don't know what to do, except look. I'm sorry. I don't mean to do this in front of you. Your entire um, people just died. I think you have the right to. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that you are not the last if you're successful in finding yeah, some more. Yeah, she's not the last too, because... Never mind. <laughs> Clearly, I'm still in possession. <laughs> Me too. Well, again, the, the Avar the tribes, met or Avar holds, are independent from, from each other, so... Yeah. You have no idea. Probably a lot what of the holds... Uh, we can totally handle this blight well, by ourselves. Yeah, but well, not just that. that it's, um, this is a time if, if one hold gets wiped that. out, they won't consider I that... There's Bull still other like others of their kind from other holds. I think 
I think it'll be it okay, might still be Avar, but it wouldn't be them. Hmm. True. I did not think of warning well, it that way. Hopefully that's the case. I think in, in the cities, things are a little bit less, I don't know what the word is, antagonistic, rough and tumble, less likely to be attacked <laughs> by bandits at any rate. <laughs> I Well, I think my people wouldn't travel to cities at the moment, so... I'll stick hey, to you don't know that. In the woods. There are Avar <laughs> that shadows. go work as mercenaries and bodyguards. I know where to find them. Considering the, the small number of Avar that are left... Well, they might have been out of the holds pre-blight. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, okay. but I mean, uh, uh, from what I understand, there are that many right. have our left. Thank you, Petra, again, for your patience. Let's they would probably look for the jobs. Oh, yeah, we're back to me. This happens <laughs> Sorry. Uh, while there's still rumors that a blight might be happening. Let me, let me specify yes. that. And um, right now, you are once again with your cousin, Urid, and she has... Uh, Beginning and the end of happy times. <laughs> and the mandolin, actually, uh, she becomes a natural at it. You know, the flute thing was okay, and she's improving on the flute, mm-hmm. but something about the mandolin just really grasped, grabs her, and she she really immediately takes into it. And, she, you know, she starts playing some some uh, songs for some of the younger, younger children. Um, and so he's just having like this little mini concert right now, and you're just watching, and she's just playing this beautiful, beautifully, beautiful melody. Uh, as the kids are like laughing and clapping, and some of them are singing along with the chorus, with the words. And then, um... Is Samantha trying to escape? While, I think so. <laughs> while this is happening, uh, you hear a little bit of Better a commotion near the boundaries, boundary and She's definitely chewing something up. No, it just looked like, uh, off screen? Coming back Eagle off Beach. screen a little more. And uh, you see that Yer is starting to get a little distracted by it. Like she doesn't stop playing, but she's like sort of looking in the direction of where the commotion is. And the kids are like, men, half of them are don't don't notice, and they continue you know clapping and singing. But the other half are like, what's going on? Looking around, being distracted in both directions by her playing and what, whatever's going on at the edge of town or edge of the village. What do you do? The kids look like they're still going to stay watching her. It looks like they are. Okay, Rollis well, is going to head off towards the distraction. Then. I, I think the kids think that's like adult business. Whatever's happening there, <laughs> the kids don't need to, whatever. Yeah, because Rollis' priority would be, let's keep them here and away from whatever's over there. Okay. See, if she you can have focus. Uh, near the butt of the village again, and you see that there is um, a group of Avar that are conversing with uh, a newcomer who has arrived on horseback. This newcomer um, is hooded. And, this is actually from backstories um, I relatively wrote. Relatively slim I'm really surprised with how much of this Hark used. Do you recognize them? Do you roll a perception, please? Because asking that question was the moment oh, of, this is, oh, oh is I know where this is from. Word. I only have a one in this, okay. and I never added points to it. So I didn't have to subtract Run. three. <laughs> Based on how he's dressed, I'll say, uh, this is Arlan. Yeah. Now you you know who Arlan is, I'm assuming, at That's this point. Dad. You know, Yeah, you know that. <laughs> yes. All right, all right. I know, she's known since she was a kid. And you know that Arlan has not been allowed to remain in the hole at this no. point. He's not been allowed. Um, so those of you who, are, who do not know, uh, to the viewers, uh, Rovas is actually half elf, half a variant. And yep. that explains the whole traditional thing that they were talking about with her mom earlier in an earlier scene, just to clarify that. So, <laughs> um, it's, been, it's been a good amount of time since Arlan was last at the hold. Um, he would come visiting whenever the caravan came around. Um, but this is the first time you've seen him without his caravan. Yeah, she's just gonna push up and run up to the horse. Stop! What are you doing here? I need to speak with your thane at once. I have news that could very well put all of your people in danger. Uh, Okay, yeah, come on. 
But the, you have to get off your first first context view. This scene really. would actually be before the he, scene he, with he Gerard and, mm-hmm. off of that we just saw before. And the, yeah. the rest of the Avar sort of give him a nod to allow him back into the hold. And um, uh, you will you will be brought. You will take him to the chamber of the of 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 the Thane. So I kind of pictured, and you can correct me if this is completely out of your vision, Petra. But I kind of envision, since this is Eagle Reach, um, the Thane's throne, or whatever you call it, mm-hmm. is probably higher up yep. um, towards like the, towards the trees. And there's probably various locations where eagles are roosting, you know, mm-hmm. overhead of the throne. So, yep. yes, um, completely and the to what male I Thane, he's, 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 uh, he's sitting there waiting for the approach of our land. And um, you, will, you will follow in him. And as soon as he arrives, our land will give, will, will get down on one knee in order to show his respect to the Thane. Um, I'm assuming Rovas follows suit. Yeah. The Thane, uh, uh, the Thane, uh, speaks, rise, Arlan, uh, what do they call the elves? Child Child of the Leaf. Child of the Leaf, thank you. And Arlan will, will rise. There is a great giant eagle also, right now. Also, here would be another good one, but it's a borderline slur, and the thing feels like he'd be a touch more formal. Right now. Um, he doesn't seem to be tethered or attached at all. It's completely free eagle. The eagle's just kind of, um, you know, just, just sitting there on his, on his arm and sort of looking down at the rest of the, the congregation in front of him. And, um, the Thane says, I, he says, your caravan is not scheduled to arrive here. What brings you to our borders, child of the leaf? And uh, the Arlan clears his throat and says, I've come with news. A blight, a blight is spreading onto Ferelden. I just came back from Ostagar. The there was a group of Grey Wardens there that were attempting to stop the blight before before it began. It, it was supposed to be a very quick and painless operation, but they they were they were overwhelmed. Yeah, they Ostagar is falling and the dark spawn there they're making their way towards the rest of the land. I I wanted to warn you about this, to prepare you. The Thane is, is um, rubbing his, his brow a little bit, and then rubbing his chin a little bit, uh, thinking, and then he looks towards uh, the eagle that's resting on his arm. You can see him whisper something to the eagle, and then the eagle immediately uh, flaps its wings and takes off, and starts to fly towards the direction of Ostagar, actually. Um, as the eagle flies, several of the other eagles that were also perched on the trees follow with him. So there's like this flock of eagles leaving. Oh, and is this you... the whole beast? Yes. Okay, listen, they flag and she. Thank you. Listen, they flag and she. Okay. I'm trying not to autocorrect um, so hard. But... <laughs> so several of them um, go off. And if you, if you were to follow, several of the Avar notice that the eagles sort of notice that um, the hold beast is leaving and taking several other eagles with it and more and yeah, more eagles Yeah, that's kind of important. So there's like mm-hmm. this semi-swarm of eagles in the sky. Also which is cool a big visual. deal. Like, yeah. This is, yeah. This is not, this is something that it would be very unusual for any of the other variants to see. And it normally means something's going down. Some stuff's going down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The, the Thane then says, if what you say is true, then we must prepare our, our men and women for the blight. Our land looks very uh, um, relieved. He's still like a little exhausted because he's been- Yeah, rushing. he's been riding for a week straight, he, so. He's been all night yeah. traveling. 
And the Thane asks, do you have any more news for me, child of the leaf? And uh, Arlen says, I am afraid I do not, but I, if you please, I, I wish to remain here to help where I can. The Thane says, you understand that you are not allowed to remain here, for it is not, uh, for no lowlander can mingle permanently with the people of the Avar. Yeah, and, they're a little strict about uh, that. Arlan says, with all, with all due respect, my, my, my healing powers, my, I'm sure that I, I would be a great benefit to your people in the upcoming war if such a thing were to happen. Uh, he, he sort of looks towards you as if for some support in this. It would be suicide to send away a healer in a time of war. The Thane uh, thinks again for a moment. Yay, valid point. <laughs> straining between sticking to the traditions of the Avar versus pragmatism with the words yeah. that you say, which does make a lot of logical sense. <laughs> and then the Thane finally rises up and says, very well. You may stay as long as you carry your weight. And He's not that heavy. It'll be totally easy. <laughs> I fear that if what you say is true, that we will definitely be in dire need of all the healing we can get. And then when that is over, he will dismiss dismiss you. Especially considering that um, usually... At that point, Arlan will even say... Even minor injury will mother, cause you to, to be go. blighted. Yeah. Yes, you will. I need to... I need to speak okay, with the her. The second they're outside alone, she's like, "Are you okay? Do you, I have I've water skin on me. Do you need anything?" I'm fine. I'm I'm fine, Rovas. It's you're not. I haven't had you much look like sleep. You haven't slept. No. When was the last time you ate? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she has healer's <laughs> training. <Yesterday. laughs> Would she have anything on her? Do you think? I'm, I'm sure she might have something on okay. her. If not, yes, you can easily. Apple touch. shoves into her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a and proceeds to lead him off down to a training area. I didn't... My apologies, Rovas. I didn't think that I would see you again under these circumstances. Yeah! Um, Light's kind of a weird reason for family reunion. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. Things back at Ostagar, they were bad. They were very bad. I don't think I've ever seen so many of those things in my life. will step in. It's what they do, right? Yeah. Optimism. That's going to go away I soon. You are right in this, but I think that if we're going to survive this, we need to rely somewhat on ourselves as well. Meet them halfway. Um, how is your, how is Yirid doing? Oh, she's wonderful last time I saw this morning. I hope that she's been practicing her war songs. I definitely think that she will need to write. <laughs> yeah. mm, yes. It will take some time, hopefully, for them to reach the Frostbacks, but I fear that eventually the blight will spread here, and we need to be ready. Yeah, obviously. But come on, they can have to go through how many holes? Be fine. <laughs> he smiles. Yes. I've always in my optimism. I don't know where you got that from. It certainly wasn't from me. <laughs> Mom calls it overconfidence. I don't think it came from your mother either. <laughs> no. Anja um, will already. Anya. I'm sorry, Anya. This thing. Sorry. Um, Anya, excuse me. <laughs> Anya will already be out of. Uh, your living quarters outside and he will be there to greet um, he will be there to greet your father uh, he uh, makes his way up to her and they will embrace Aww. and she will say Arlan what what are you doing here? I freaking and adore those two. Arlan will then <laughs> explain to her the situation at which Anya will be um, will, will take it all in as calmly as possible and when she hears everything, she will say, All right. 
This is not good. I have to be going to war soon. Very well. Our people have been training for this. I'm sure we can do it. Um, Arlan will, will, uh, will, uh, I guess, give her another uh, warm embrace as they make their way into the hut, and there they will have supper ready. And um, I think while Arlan is is having um, dinner at the at the table, Anya um, uh, continues, uh, I guess, talking about some of the training that. Uh, Robots and the rest of the youth, I guess, you know, the next generation. generation have been going through and says, um, Rovas has uh, proven to be an exceptional warrior, Arlan. You should, <laughs> you should be proud. You should. Arlan says, you know my thoughts about violence and conflict. Yeah, Arlan is one of the most pacifistic people you're no ever going to meet. Talk way out of this. Well, he Arlan, certainly knows how to pick change. him. Yeah, That's really good. A warrior I've been working on this Fonia called Kolf's Kiss. It combines and here Rockoma I am in my herbalism kick. Elf fruit potion. So, like, the Rakuma makes a cast and then just keeps pumping the elf fruit into the broken bone so it heals. Really? He says with a little bit of a prideful smile. I think I almost got it cracked. That's wonderful, Rovas. I'm extremely proud. That's very creative. Um, at this point, uh, your, your mother sighs. Oh, the irony. To think this entire time we've been training ourselves to take back our land from the Lowlanders. Now it looks hey. like the Darkspawn are going to be taking away from the Lowlanders for us. Of course, that just means we have to take it away from them after the fact. Pokes at her food. Yeah, this might be an awkward well, you know, topic. We could just stay here. It's nice. From what I understand, though, that the Avar doesn't seem Arlan, to have a lot of instead of responding to what back saying, to he ends up to exactly. Like, that was also my thought. But mm-hmm. This is Mark's idea for the season for the Avar, mm-hmm. and he, he says, "You mean all this time, this clan has been trying to train their warriors to invade Ferelden to take." The land back from Ferelden. Did you know that's gonna end in good? Anya yeah, and it didn't end well last time they tried it. That it is no. time <laughs> it for really us didn't. To finally, take back what was rightfully stolen. Take back what was stolen from us. And I have to say, and that again, I they don't have to ask what was stolen. They Attempts went were to the frostbacks. So that's where they settled. Generations and generations. Again, I. And, well, I think. Put it lightly, I think maybe. Hark has gotten some of this um, misunderstood this point, and is, built his own size, you can, lure you around it. With it. And, yeah. um, <laughs> because um, I don't think he's got and at this, point, uh, this right at all, like canonically. You. How about you, but, Robas? Um, what do you think of the Avarian This is what he's put in canon, so. Yeah. Or yeah. He, his <sighs> story canon. I know. Yes, yes, they are, Robas. Um... At this point, Anya seems to sort of be humoring you at this point. Yes, the Frostbacks are better, but she, she says, for how long are the Ferelden's even going to allow us in the Frostbacks? We've been moved before. <laughs> I'd love to see them try coming down here. There's that overconfidence oh, I game. Could, I wish I could say that they have tried to move us before and failed, but historically, that has not been the case. We are a very strong people, Rovas, but the Ferelden's, they greatly outnumber us still. And yeah, that's really true. Once they mm-hmm. end up pushing us off of the Frostback Mountains, you see what's been going over at that, that temple thing, the Andraste temple thing. People are flocking there, yes, they are settling the there now. Don't think Actually, for one don't moment that looking they won't at a map, but I thought that was much, much higher in the chain. It's closer to Orzammar than where the Avar are. Like I, thought I'd look I the actually same don't tribe. know that geography so much. starts to get a little I would have to look this up. It's not mm-hmm. even going to come to that if the Blight succeeds. Oh, right, the Blight. Yes, we, well, we should probably yeah, talk about that, too. I suppose one thing at a time, then, Anya says. And then she takes up, she says, um, more... More mush, Rovas, she says that she's got some like mush turnips and 
and potatoes. I think I'm mushed out. <laughs> she will put more on her own plate, and then, and then pop a bit, squeeze a few cranberries on top um, to flavor it, and then she starts to munch more of the of the turnip and potato mush. That's not awkward dinner at all. Um, the the dinner. It's an appropriate dinner for where yeah. they are, though. From I did like exactly. that. Unless the robots wants to say anything, otherwise I'll continue. Okay. I think we're kind of on the end of the video. Okay.